First thing is we want to graph the point. So we've got negative 5, negative 12. So you're going to go left 5 on the x-axis and 12 uh, down on the y-axis. So left 5, down 12. Okay, just like you would normally plot a point. And then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a ray to that point from the origin. So you can see this is making a right triangle. And then what you can do is you can do the Pythagorean theorem, or if you know your Pythagorean triples, you can find this missing side here. And in this case, it's 13. Now the hypotenuse here, this uh, radius or this ray drawn from the origin is always going to be positive. Okay, so again, if you're not sure, just go ahead and do the Pythagorean theorem, negative 5 squared plus uh, negative 12 squared equals c squared, and you're going to see that this is 25 plus 144 equals c squared, 169 equals c squared, take the square to both sides, and you can see that c is coming out to 13. Okay, so now that we've got our triangle, what we do is we position ourselves here at the origin to find our ratios. So if we want to find the sine of theta, I'll just put it here, sine of theta, what we do is we look at our SOHCAHTOA acronym to help us. So we say sine is the opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side. So what we're going to do here, sine of theta is going to be the opposite, which is negative 12, over the hypotenuse, which is across from the right angle, that's 13, and you've got it. Now if you want to find the reciprocal ones, like the cosecant of theta, all you have to do is take the reciprocal, and this is going to be 13 over negative 12. Okay, let's go to the cosine now. So the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is next to over the hypotenuse. So this is negative 5 over 13. And if you want to find the secant of theta, you just take the reciprocal. That's 13 over negative 5. Okay, let's go to the tangent now. So the tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So that's negative 12 over negative 5. You can see the two negatives cancel, so that's 12 fifths. And then the cotangent of theta we just take the reciprocal of the tangent, and that's 5 twelfths, and you got it.